Welcome back. Today, let's continue mobile development by actually uploading a build to the Google Play Store for internal testing. Let's make sure we're in Android build configuration. Um, and if we are going to upload to the store, we need the app bundle checked. So that's your Google Play checkbox right there. That will build, instead of, instead of an APK, which is what you've been uploading onto your phone, this is gonna build the app bundle, um, what is it, like AAB, something like that. I like to leave the symbols on. This is not gonna be a development build. I'm going to be publishing, so we'll wanna do that. Um, what else is worth checking on here? Um, since I'm making my published build, let's turn off the Unity splash screen right this is on by default with the little unity logo let's just you know we'll turn that off the android version periodically they'll do an update and they will require that you support the latest version so come on in here it's certainly set to highest installed currently as of today which is october the 8th 2023 android is requiring that we support, that we target up to level 33. So rather than leave this at highest installed, I suggest you switch to the installation level that Android is requiring. Uh, Unity is pretty good about this. If you don't have that version installed yet, when you hit build, it will offer to install it for you. Um, and that's been working fairly well, um, at least up to level 33 so far. Okay, so that's that. What else are we going to need? If we hit build, let's go ahead and hit the build and have it um, have it complain at us that it's unable to sign the application. In order to make one of these builds that we're going to upload, we do have to sign the application. So how do we handle that? Let's see here. Down in publishing settings, there is a key store manager built right in. Um, if you have not created a key store yet you can create one and so we will simply create a new key store and tell it where we want to save it you want to put it somewhere in your project folder um, it doesn't need to be in the assets folder because unity does not need to do use, include this for the build but you do want to organize it together with your folder. So putting it in like right there, I think is a good good spot to put it. Uh, so I'll just call this user JKS, whatever. All right, and then you're gonna need a password for it. And so and we will also want one alias. There's a project key. We'll need an alias for that. I'm gonna call it alias and the password for that. Okay, let's add that key to our new key store. Yeah. All right, and now in here, we have to type in the password that we just created, and that should allow us to open the key store and see the alias we created, and we'll need the password for that. Okay, um, that's pretty good. Now we're ready, we have signed it. Let me warn you that um, Unity does not save these passwords, kind of for obvious reasons. So every time you open Unity, those passwords will be blank again. It'll keep them as long as Unity's open. So I'm gonna do a build today. It's gonna use those passwords and sign the application. But when I uh, close Unity and then I reopen it again tomorrow. I'll have to type those in again. And yeah, I usually forget. I usually do my build and then it tells me you forgot to enter the passwords. Come over here and the passwords. Let me do a build. Um, let's do a build. Let's put it into a new spot. I'm going to call this B. While it's building, let me give you a heads up. Um, what I'm showing now is sufficient for very small applications, for small games. Um, Google Play Store has a limit. I think the limit is currently 150 megabytes for the entire initial install. So if you are doing a single install, which if we're beginners, that is what we're doing, then 
your game has to fit into 150 megabytes um, or this won't work. All right, and so there's the AAB, and as you can see, I'm well under the 150 megabyte target for this game. Let's now upload that to the Google Play Store. Let's go to the Google Play Console. Google Play Console, yeah, that's right, Google Play Console. And we're gonna go to the Google Play Console. We will now need to sign in. If you don't have an account, you need to create an account. Um, it's not difficult to set up an account, but it will cost you $25 as a one-time fee. My understanding is that's a that's one time you have to pay $25 to create uh, uh, a, a developer account with Google. I've got an account or two, so let me log into that. Okay, I'm now logged in. I'm at my Google Play console, and here are the various apps that I have already. Let's create a new app. And I'm going to call this example Unity Game. I don't know. Okay, it is a game. It is going to be free. Okay, we need to read about the, the various policies and check them. Read these on your own. I'm going to say I've already read those, and so that's cool. So let's create the app. Really, we're ready to start um, uploading the thing. Let's in. Let's start by uploading to internal testing. I'm going to under the testing tab, internal testing, create new release, and this is where they want us to put our app bundle. But wait, why can't I upload the app bundle? Can't upload the app bundle because first we need the signing key. So. We're going to go here and let's choose to allow Google to manage the key for us. All right, let's now upload our AAB file that we just created. Yeah, while that's going, let's point out the version number and the build version code. Um, the build version code needs to be increased every single time you upload to the, uh, the the Google Play Console, and I always forget, as I just did just now, I forgot again to increase that number. But that's okay because um, and this is a brand new build that I'm showing you right now, so that won't come up. But while that's going, because I am publishing this to my main project, I think I will rerun the build uh, with a 14. So I'll do that while. The Google Play is uploading and then we'll come back. Mm. Right, the package name. And here we get one of the things that is uh, a continual frustration for me. You make your build, you upload the build, only after you've uploaded the build do you finally get simple little errors, things that you forgot to do. The package com wholesale algorithms TBE is already in use because that's that's what I actually call this project and yeah that's a project that is uploaded already on um, on my main app on my my previous app uh, yeah you have to change that name each time to something else so let's go make a new build and we'll try again there are two places where that name appears. One is in the override right there, and the other is just uh, it's made by default based on this. So uh, I will check the override, and I call this, uh, I don't know, I'm going to call it example. So um, I have increased my bundle version code. I have changed the package name to a new package name that is unique for this project. Now, once you've got that for the project, you don't have to keep changing that. That's a one-time setting. The bundle version code, you have to upgrade each time you do a new build. Okay, let's go again and let's call this build C, shall we? Call this build C. And that has been built. Let's get back over here and let's upload a new bundle that we just made. So here we go.
while that's going, you can give it a little name and you can post some notes here. Um, first upload of sample of example project. I don't want that to be capitalized. Come on. All right. Um, this will this will be available. This information is available for your testers. We can see now that it has uploaded the package. Great. So we have a release ready to go. We have given it a name. We have uploaded our AAB file. Let's advance. There are three warnings. There are, we can't publish it because we didn't finish setting up things on the dashboard. That's correct. We did not. The release will not be available to any users because we haven't specified any testers. We didn't create testers. That's true. And version code 14, there is no deobfuscation file associated with this. Um, yeah, and we will not worry about that message. Um, we did not use R8 minification. If you want a little tangent here, what is that? Uh, the minification. Minification, R8 minification. Here we go. Minify. We didn't. We didn't do that. So uh, because we didn't do that, this doesn't apply. So we don't need to worry about it. All right. So I, I'm happy with this. Let's save it. The initial release is available to internal testers. Cool. We just don't have any internal testers. Let's get us an internal tester. We can make tester groups or we can create a new list. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna call it example testers. And let's add some people to the to the thing. You know, Fred at myemail.com and uh, what is it, separate comment, yeah. And uh, Susan at some place dot TV, I don't know. There we go, did have to hit enter. And here we have our list of people that are gonna be on there. We're gonna save the changes. I'm gonna add myself. All right, example testers. They should totally have an option to email my testers with the info, right? Um, but what they do give you is this copy link. You copy that link, you send that to your testers in an email. And I will do that real quick offline. Hey, I just got an email. All right, and here I've received the email. I and it's that link that I just hit. So let's just hit the link. Did I not save this? Yep, oh, there we go. That was it. Okay. <laughs> so I have been invited. I'm going to accept the invite and let's hit download it on Google Play. Install. So while that's happening, I do want to stress uh, I have forgotten to save, so watch out for that. Okay, open. And there we have my installed package. And this is that's how we can distribute the, the games that we make to our internal testing team. We will, once again, we will create our test list here. Our testers simply provide us with their email address. We enter them into the list. Um, we authorize that group for as testers for this app. We save that and then we copy them a link, send that in an email to them or whatever. They get it. They can now install um, directly on their phone from the Google Play Store and play our test builds. So that is uh, setting up internal testing. We cannot release this app yet because we have not completed setting up the dashboard. There is the dashboard and there's a whole lot of setup to do. Um, it's fairly self-explanatory, I think, at this point, but maybe I'll do a follow-up later where I take you through all of the pieces of setting all of that up for the Google Play Store so that you can actually launch and make the product available to all players on the Google Play Store and start actually making money from your from your game. All right, that's it for this video. I think I'll probably hold off on doing the rest of the dashboard setup. I think it's fairly self-explanatory. 
If anyone does have difficulty with any of those steps, pop down into the comments, let me know what is a tricky part or what you found tricky, and uh, I'll do a follow-up video on those. In the meantime, I think I will try to do iOS development next and show you how to get all that going with up through getting it on test flight, which is the equivalent of what we just did here, and then ultimately on the App Store. All right, see you guys out there.